Hey guys, welcome to this video. Andy math. We're gonna do difference of two squares. So this one right here. So here's some practice problems for difference of two squares. And we'll go through all six of these. Here's the notes. This says a squared minus b squared equals a plus b, a minus b. I think it's gonna be easiest to learn this with some examples. So we'll do number one. We'll write out our two parentheses, and then the square root of x is x. So we're just going to break that down into x and x. And the square root of nine is three. So we'll do three and three, and then we just go plus and minus. And now we're done. x plus three times x minus three is x squared minus nine. And I'll show you on one of these that if we foil it out, you'll see it'll bring us back. So x times x is x squared. x times negative three is negative three x. 3 times x is positive 3x, and 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So these middle terms cancel. So we're left with just x squared minus 9, which is where we were when we started. So we know that this x plus 3, x minus 3 is correct. Let's do some more. All right, number 2, 4x squared minus 16y squared. So yes, even though this is a section on difference of two squares, we always want to factor out a GCF if possible before we start. And here, both 4 and 16 are divisible by 4. So I'm going to pull a 4 out for my first step. So 4, this will be x squared minus 4y squared. So that was just factoring out the GCF. Now we're ready to do the difference of two squares. So we'll bring down the 4 again. And then we have two sets of parentheses. So square root of x squared is x, and we'll have the plus and the minus. And the square root of 4y squared, we want to square root everything. So we're also going to square root the 4 in addition to the y squared. So square root of 4 is 2, and square root of y squared is y. Now we are done. This is the answer to the question. If I were to distribute and FOIL, it'd bring me back to where we started. But you're not expected to do that. So for number three, this one looks a little crazy, but it's not that bad. It's the same thing we're gonna factor. First, let's check for GCF. There's no greatest common factor, so we're just gonna write down our two parentheses. I'm gonna space these out a little bit more. So the square root of 16 is four, and the square root of x to the fourth is x squared. So we just need to square root both of them. Then we just do the plus and the minus. Square root of 49 is seven. Square root of w squared is w, and square root of z squared is z. And I didn't appear to give myself enough room, but I can fix that. And that is the answer to the question. We are now done. So it's just the square root of the first plus square root of second, square root of the first minus square root of the second. That's it. Now for number four. So it looks like we have another one with GCF here. So for each of these terms, it looks like three goes into both 12 and 27, and an x would also go into either of these terms. So first I'm gonna factor out a three X. So three times what is 12, that's four. And X times what is X cubed, that's X squared, minus. Three times what is 27, nine. X times what is X, so that's just one, so we're not gonna put anything. And then we still have the Y squared left here. Now that the GCF is out, I can now do my difference of two squares. So I'll bring down the three X from before, and my two sets of parentheses. 4x squared, so the square root of that, we square root the 4 to get 2, and square root the x squared to get x. Then we just do plus minus. Square root of 9 is 3, and square root of y squared is just y. And that's it. That's the answer to the question. Now for number 5. So this says x squared plus 9. So notice the x squared and the 9 are perfect squares, but it's a plus sign, not a minus sign. This only works with minus signs. So we are actually done. It doesn't factor. So we'll write out not factorable. So we can't factor this any further. And that's it for that one. And last one, number six. So there's no GCF here. So we're just gonna write out our two sets of parentheses. Then square root of four is two, and square root of x to the fourth is x squared. And then we have our plus minus. Square root of nine is three, and square root of y squared is y. And that's it, that's the answer. We are now done with all of these. So hope you feel like a pro on difference of two squares now. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Check out andymath.com for more videos and study guides. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.